so you guys know that I like to use handled punches and this style here is probably my favorite at least it's my latest but I've done it in several different ways and I've shown that in the past so I need to make another handled round punch one that I'll take on the road I have this blank that's already milled and has a hole drilled in it and I'd like to make this in a little bit more of an oddball, maybe less uniform way. Just quickly, you probably see me using my rounding hammer quite a bit of late, and it's really becoming one of my favorites. Uh, you can see this one here is about two pounds, that's the one that I normally sell. But I also have this one here that I'm working on. I'm also going to take this one on the road. Uh, it's a little bit lighter weight, about a pound and three quarter. I need to give a shout out to Michael Gedeon, otherwise known as Rigid Ironworks, for his recent very generous donation. I feel very fortunate to have frequent donators like him since this is a time when a lot of channels are struggling. Thanks, Mike. You might remember I found this chisel in a hardware store. It's probably for cutting sheet metal. and this slightly finer edged chisel I made. Like a lot of projects of mine like this, uh, the genesis of this is in my noggin, uh, but how it'll turn out is anyone's guess. I decide to twist it a little bit more.
So, there's that end. By the way, the punch is made from H13 steel. It looks something like one of these creeping plants that twists around another. Remember, for some things like this, maybe watch, but don't do. It's pretty interesting looking, and I'll use it soon. I'll catch you guys next time. Remember to head over to my spread shop, the link's in the description box, and pick up a t-shirt, a cap, or a mug, and help support the channel. Thanks very much.